This year, a few highways in eastern Iowa have seen some big changes. A couple projects crossing the finish line, others inching closer to completion. KWWL's Olivia, Olivia Schmidt recaps it all for us, taking a look at highway construction in 2019. Iowa drivers saw cones and detours across the viewing area this past year. The stretches of cold, rainy days challenge work crews as the new Highway 63 officially opened this fall after about two years of construction. It'll be something that is really going to make traffic go through here a lot smoother. You might remember the highway used to be an underpass, forcing drivers to wait for passing trains. But now, traffic goes over the railroad tracks, which also addresses water ponding on the roads on rainy days. During wet times and even during dry times with the groundwater, the water table out here, you would end up with a lot of water on the road. The nearly $56 million project finished on November 1st. On the west side of the Cedar Valley, the Highway 58 and Viking Road Interchange project also finished in November. After deadly crashes at the intersection, it was considered one of the most dangerous in Iowa. The crashes that we did see, we want to do everything we can to make this a much more convenient and much safer intersection. Today, Highway 58 runs underneath Viking Road. The single urban interchange costs $32 million. The DOT says they only have a few of them in the state. The design was used because of all the development that has happened in that area, all the businesses that are in that area. Heading east on Highway 20 toward Dubuque, the southwest arterial is making progress. The road connects Highway 20 to US 61. Crews hope to finish by Thanksgiving, but Mother Nature had a different plan. Early on this spring, uh, we had a hard time getting grade ready. It did cause the asphalt to be, uh, production to be uh, pushed back about a month. Project leaders already have their sights set on 2020, pushing the completion date for the total $189 million project to next summer. Olivia Schmidt, News 7, KWWL. You might remember a survey from about a month ago. It shows Iowa's roads might not be as bad as we tend to think. Consumer affairs rank every state with number one being the worst. Iowa ranks in the middle at number 29.